Let's make this platform movement in under 3 minutes. If you want to learn how to make this properly, check this tutorial out. Click on your character. Add rigid body to the component to it. Change collision detection to continuous, increase gravity scale and freeze rotation in Z axis. Add to the collider. I'm using capsule, but box or circle will work too. Adjust its size and position. Create new physics material 2D and remove all the friction. Not too funny fact. This will prevent the character from stacking two walls. Assign the material to rigid body 2D and to the collider. Create platform movement script, but don't open it. Create an empty object and name it ground check. We'll use it in our script in a second. Make sure the game object is child of the character. Now you can open the script. Create two variables to store the references to rigid body 2D and to ground check. All variables beside the rigid body will have to be marked with serialized field or be public. Yet another not very fun fact. This will make them visible in the inspector. Create three float variables, ground check radius, speed and the jump force. Assign them default values so we don't have to do it from the inspector. In start method, grab rigid body 2D and assign it to the right variable. It's a terrible idea to do everything in update. But well, this way it will be faster. Grab horizontal input and jump input and store them in variables. Change x velocity of the rigid body to horizontal input times speed. Leave y velocity untouched. Check if player pressed the jump button and if the character is on the ground. We'll implement the check in a second. If the conditions are true, modify the y velocity to jump force. Don't touch the x velocity. Now let's implement it is grounded check. We need one more variable, this time of layer mask type. We'll use it to store the reference to the ground layer. In the is grounded method, we simply check if a circle of certain radius overlaps the ground layer. Yet another terrible solution, but it will work for now. If the horizontal input is not equal to zero, let's flip the character so it's always looking the way it's walking. Let's assign the ground check object to the ground check variable. We create new layer, ground, and add all the platforms to it. Now in the platform movement script, we change the collision mask to ground. Let's test the movement. Mission accomplished. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to my channel. Enjoy the rest of the day, love you and bye bye.